Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Today I'm going to be doing a alcohol ink project on this clear glass bottle. And I've got uh, different color alcohol inks. This is Rainforest Green and Magenta. And this is Amnesty. I'm using a variety of different brands of alcohol inks. This is Purple Passion. Our Passion Purple. <laughs> this is Patina. Baja Blue. I decided not to use the black. And then this is gold. This is the orange. And this is flamingo. And then I have these other ones. This is uh, pink and rose. And then I had also mixed them up already with blending solutions. I'm not sure if I'll use those or not, but we'll see. And I also have taken some of the Resin Art Luster Pigments and mixed them with uh, a little bit of alcohol. And um, so I wanted to try those to see how those would work as well. This one here is Red Raspberry and the other one was Mermaid. So let's get started and just start seeing what we can create on this bottle. I think I will start with the um, resin art luster pigments and see how they look. And I like the colors. They're a little more transparent than what I was wanting, but I'm going to add some others that will be... Um, uh, a little darker so these seem to be drying though very very transparent let's try the mermaid look it's making purple <laughs> color science <laughs> All right, enough of those. All right, let's add some of the purple passion. And I'm not trying to make this be perfect little lines. I want the, just the rundown look because it's all going to blend together in the end. And then, uh, I will add uh, gold over it that's going to bring out those colors. Boy, that rain uh, forest green really, really is spreading. Okay, some Baja blue. Let's add a little bit of orange to this and see. Okay, I really, really, really like that orange. But I don't want to use too much. <laughs> now I'm going to do a dab of magenta. And this is the flamingo. It's almost like a watermelon color. I really like that. And this is the patina. Adding a little more orange. And I'm going to start going back and 
and filling in any of the uh, clear glass areas and straighten out a little bit of the lines. It looks messy right now, but it will come together. love how those colors blend and, and I'm not using any blending solution or any alcohol because I want this to be the concentrated color on this project of whatever the ink is While I'm doing this, I'm just going to take the opportunity to say if uh, you enjoy this video, and click like and share. You help my channel grow doing that, and I appreciate it so much. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click that subscribe button and ring that bell next to it and you'll get notified when I upload future videos. Comments or questions, I love your feedback so please leave them below and I'll get back to you. And all the supplies that I use will be listed in the description box below this video and there's also other information in there, links to my Etsy shop and um, Amazon shop and Facebook. And well, be sure to check that out. And just about finished getting this filled in. Gonna wipe off the bottom a little bit. Cover that up because I don't want to get that back on there. And using my heat gun, I'm just gonna dry the ink that's on there. And then I'm gonna come back with the gold. And when you use gold alcohol ink, be sure to shake it really good because it separates when it's been setting for a while. And I'm just going to let drips of this run down over the top of the other colors. And as it dries, it blends in with the color beneath it. And it still has that uh, sparkly gold hue to it. But you can also see the color beneath it. Uh, mingle with the gold. Okay, so we're going to stop here and I'm going to try to take you in for a close-up so that you can see how the gold is still there, but it's taking on the color beneath it as well. And then we're going to let these set and dry for a little bit. And then we will come back and add the resin, which is really going to make these colors pop. I love how it's turning out. So I had done uh, one of these bottles earlier um, and didn't record it so this is the first one I did and it really sparkles and shines and brings all that color out with that gold over the top let's see if we can get some light on there and 
to see how the colors have <clears throat> blended with the gold and how it just gives it that totally unique look. It's so pretty. So the next step is I'm going to mix some stone goat um, countertop art resin and get these coated with a layer of that and that will just add more depth. It will protect the ink and um, it will put the finishing touch on these. See how that orange is shining through the gold, the green. Then when you turn it, it looks gold. Just all gold. So it's just really cool how that different lights gives it the different reflective colors. And I actually love how the design is just drips on here. Okay, let's get some resin on these. So I've mixed it up and this is a 1-1 ratio. And I'm just going to use my hand to get the resin onto the bottles. Um, I can control where the resin is going. I can feel where I need to add resin and uh, where I need to smooth it out more. So rather than just pouring it on here because it's uh, be a lot of waste to do that. And we don't want to waste resin. <laughs> But you can already tell how the resin is causing those colors to um, shine through. And even from the, the transparency, you can see the colors on the other side of the bottle. We'll get this one finished and then uh, I'll show you the cured version of them making sure all the resin is smooth and that every bit of the bottle is covered. And here they are finished. I think they turned out gorgeous. And I hope you have enjoyed this. And I want to thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you in my next Creative Escapades. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.